Before I start this video, I'd like to thank Philip Kaler for uploading these pictures which I used in the video and for additional facts and information provided by Firehawk894, Exterminator-47, and X3M who provided an important information that I missed on the last video. Check out his comment that I pinned in a previous video in the description. Have fun! Hi there! Synexis coming in. Today we'll be talking about the resistance ground units, jaguars, porcupines, mammoth, and chameleons. And this is Animal Planet. Wait, wrong video, wrong video. We'll be talking about their use, units they counter, and units that counter them. Jaguars, the most powerful tank of the resistance. I mean, it is the only tank of the resistance. They can be built at vehicle factory level 3. These bad boys have more speed and maneuverability and a very high firepower. Jags have two modes, March Mode and Siege Mode. It simply goes like this. March Mode, it can move and fire at the same time. In Siege Mode, it can't move but it has more firing speed and more firepower. This requires little micromanagement as they are more effective in Siege Mode than in March Mode. Jags are good in defending our base or attacking the enemy base. In mid to late game, having them is a must if you want to attack the enemy base, since they are the units powerful enough to destroy the enemy zoos and enemy buildings. They are good against all enemy ground units, but they are bad against air units since they don't have anti-air. Porcupines has the same shape of a porcupine if you gave it reds. The most mobile anti-air and anti-infantry of the resistance. It can be produced at Special Vehicles Factory Level 1. They have a panoramic SAM launcher, the best weapon against all enemy air units. And they also have this 23mm 3-barrel rotary gun. A very smart and complicated name. Bro, just, just call it a Gatling gun and we're good. I mean, come on. It looks like a Gatling gun. Gatling gun sounds cooler than this. This, this They are good against all enemy air units. They can also defend themselves against infantry units. However, they can be easily killed by enemy tanks and other anti-armored units. Mammoths. No, no. Not like the large animals. They are not large. They are small and a bit slow. But they do pack heavy damage and are long range. Mammoths are the ground artillery units of the resistance and these units have the longest vehicle range in the game. They also have damage similar to Jaguars but long range. They also have two modes, March Mode and Siege Mode. However, Mammoths can only fire in Siege Mode. They are good against enemy defenses and ground units. They are bad against air units since they have no anti-air and any unit can kill them close range. So you need to protect them properly in order for them to be effective. Chameleons, the resistance support unit which is also dubbed as the most invincible unit of the game. This is because of its ability to create a big fog and hide your army. The only way for enemies to discover you is to send a scout or force attack, hopefully killing the chameleon. Do note that this ability requires a lot of energy and if not upgraded requires time to activate and deactivate. Proper timing in activating this ability can be the difference between winning and losing the game. Chameleons when combined with porcupines, mammoths, and jaguars are the ideal unit composition for resistance but take note that they are not effective 100% of the time as there are strategies that counter this combo. Their function is to hide your units from everything, even their units. They cannot fire at anything but they can be killed easily by everything so make sure to protect them at all costs. Now if you have comments, questions, suggestions, or even additional tips that I have not mentioned in this video, feel free to comment down below. Links to download the game and the official game discord is in the description. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next is over and out.